Hey guys, so I'm back again with another Telecaster build video. So for those who watched my last video, you will probably remember this guitar. Uh, this was the Squire Classic Vibe series Telecaster that I modded in my last video. I uh, got a lot of heat in the comments from some of the things that I did to this guitar. So uh, to bring you guys up to speed, I've actually taken the stock neck, put it back on the guitar. Uh, so this is back to the stock. It does have the upgraded pickup still. Uh, upgraded input jack, those things. Uh, and what I have done is, off camera, I've taken the roasted maple Telecaster neck and mounted it up to this Telecaster body uh, that I bought from XGP. So this mounted very nicely up with the Fender neck. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking this guitar and finishing it up. So putting in the bridge, mounting the new input, new pickups, and all those things. So I'm gonna run you guys through what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and uh, yeah, come along for the ride, enjoy the video. And so as we get started in the build, this is actually right where things begin to go wrong. So I ended up ordering the modern style Telecaster bridge with the guitar body. Six saddles, no edge, no lip around the bridge. The old Telecaster vintage style will have the three saddles and will have a lip. I don't like the vintage one, so I figured I could order a modern style bridge and drill that and it would be fine. Uh, turns out they are actually different sizes. So the modern style bridge is a bit longer than the vintage style. And I'll throw a picture up and show that right now. Uh, so I was lining up the modern style bridge, checked the scale length, and I noticed that it was too long. Uh, the scale length was far past the 25 and a half inch scale length that you need to properly intonate the guitar. So I ended up having to go out and buy another bridge. Uh, so the bridge that I'm using for the project, the bridge that you see in these clips that I'm lining up is a Fender Mexican Telecaster bridge. Just note that, um, again, if you guys do have questions or more, you're doing this yourself and you have questions, feel free to write in the comments below. I'm happy to, to help out with that, but that was my really one and only frustration with this build. Uh, so after that was addressed, things were, were a lot smoother, but I did want to take a quick pause and note that. So let's get back to the build. So before I actually screw in the bridge, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the bridge pickup first because this has to go in underneath the bridge. So what I'm gonna do is mount this up, get this situated in the bridge, run the wiring through the cavity in here, and then drill the bridge in. So I only have to do that one time. So we're gonna do that and then uh, get moving on with putting the rest together. So the pickups I'm using for this new guitar are from 920D Custom as well. These guys sent me out a wired up set of their Texas vintage Telecaster pickups. So huge thank you to, to those guys as well. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
here is the final build. So after putting some strings on, setting the action, and uh, doing some of the intonation, Telecaster is ready to go. So uh, I did want to run through quickly just a cost breakdown. I know in my last video uh, there was a lot of questions on how much things cost, where things fell. So I put together this uh, little breakdown price-wise. Um, so right in around $750 for everything. So that's uh, neck, and you'll see the breakdown. Neck, tuners, pickups, body, hardware, all of those things in one. So right around $750, which uh, in my opinion is a really is money well spent. Um, if you're on you know, Sweetwater or any of the guitar websites, uh, you'll notice that the even the, the Mexican fenders are beginning to creep up anywhere between, from what I've seen, eight fifty to a thousand dollars for a you know entry level Mexican player Telecaster. So, in my opinion, seven hundred and fifty dollars for this guitar is a great deal. So, what I'm going to do now is go through each of the three pickup positions and just give a quick sample of what each position sounds like and give you guys a good idea of what the guitar sounds like overall. So that wraps up the video. Uh, so if you stuck around to the end of the video, thank you again for watching. I hope you were able to learn something new from my experiences in building this. Uh, I know I learned a ton. If you guys do have any questions, comments, critiques, etc., please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Um, and thanks again for watching, and uh, see you again next time.